Hi guys, welcome to the session. Myself Mohit. So today's session is all about integrating an RPA tool to be precise UiPath with ServiceNow. In fact, creating a ticket in ServiceNow from UiPath. So before going to this session, I would like to share a conversation between myself and my colleague, senior colleague regarding RPA. So I was just checking with him. Uh, hey brother, do you know RPA? Have you worked on RPA? So the reply was quite good. He was telling like, yes, I know RPA, but not the RPA you are talking about. I was working in macros, VBScript, .NET some 10-15 years back. No one called it RPA at that time. Yes, RPA is majority RPA is about VBScript, .NET, your macros, programming. And now we have a beautiful cover to it in the name of tools. So tools allow you much more functionality in RPA. So another thing when we're talking about RPA is that some people have a perception that RPA is all about business. You don't need any technology in it. No, it's wrong. So a majority of the times data lies in technological areas, whether it's a SQL database, whether it's a Oracle database or ServiceNow, blah, blah, blah. Many tools are there, monitoring tools. So majority of the times you are getting data from these tools. So obviously RPA requires technical skills in majority of the cases, not in all cases. So if you have a technical capability plus good knowledge in your business, spot on, you are the perfect candidate for RPA. So I don't want to drag the session with my lecture on RPA. So let's get quickly moved into our thing. So I have a CSV sheet here with the description, impact, urgency and assignment group to create a ticket inside ServiceNow. So as I said, I am choosing UiPath as my RPA tool and let's see how we integrate that. So the first thing you have to go do is go to manage packages. So before that, I am assuming that you know the basics of UiPath. If you don't know, please go into their site. It's very easy. You have clear cut tutorials of whatever I am showing. So you have something called manage packages here. Just click there. Go to available and you can install the active extensions, the Excel activities, the web activities. So as we have mentioned several times before, ServiceNow is a leading cloud-based company. So when you say a cloud-based company or a cloud-based product, it obviously will have a web services to communicate with. We are using the ServiceNow REST method to communicate with ServiceNow from UiPath. So make sure that you have installed this stuff. If not, just click install and you can see something here, app integrations. So there's read CSV, we'll read the Excel file I have shown here. Now I'll use a for each to get each row from there. I'm storing it in a variable called description. You can store the variables here, description you have. I'm assigning a general value to it. Similar way, I'm taking urgency, impact, and the assignment group, which was there in the Excel sheet. So basically, we need three tickets to be created. The first ticket with short description, test data software, and it should be assigned to service desk group. The second ticket should be assigned to a network group, and third ticket should be assigned to cab approval. Uh, first, I'm reading the CSV. I am storing it into a data table called data. I have the variable type as data table. I am using a for loop. So just like I mentioned now, it's all about programming. So if you know the OOPS concept, object oriented programming language concept, RPA tools, believe me, it's it's very easy to you. I am using, I am looping through this data table. I am getting each impact urgency. So as you can see here, I am changing the column name. So I am fetching this value based on the column name of this data sheet. Urgency assignment group. Now the main thing comes integrating service now with UiPath. So as you can see here, there is something called HTTP request. So we use HTTP request 
to pass on rest messages first thing http request i can set a timeout here which show, format should it does accept any format let it be json or xml give the endpoint of service now this is the endpoint of my service now instance the method you can opt method here whether it is get post put delete or whatever and we are using post because we need to create ticket then the authentications coming to body we have to send an xml format to this so basically we are using a sort uh, xml format to send out short description impact urgency and assignment group so as you can see here i am passing i am concatenating two strings and i am passing a variable which i am fetching from the get row item so as you can see here i am passing the stuff so i am taking from the get row item generic value so if you are comfortable with any of the programming languages this is how we concatenate two strings short description plus the string or the variable converted to string so again dot to string so it's very easy you can see this in c sharp or any other oops programming language or even java to convert a variable into a string so i am passing whatever is fetched from the excel csv file also i'll pass the authentication method i'm taking out the code here whatever is success or failure so code is whether it's success it will return 201 or whether it, whether it's failure it will return some other code so here i am checking a regular expression to check whether the code is 201 so if it is 201 i am writing a condition here again if loop so basically you can see that everything here is based on oops only so again you can see a for loop here i mean if loop here so if it is success it will write the line as success if it is not equal to 201 it will fail now let's run this flow so we are running the workflow and it's completed oh 2 seconds to create three tickets everything is success let's see if it is really completed or not Yes, you can see three tickets here: test data software, which is assigned to service desk; test data network, which should be assigned to network; and cab approval, which should be assigned to cab approval group. So three tickets you have created in less than one second. I'm sure in practical life you will not have a use case to create ticket from a C, uh, Excel file or a CSV file. But the main thing here is now you know how to integrate. service so now with ui path so for more videos please subscribe to my channel thank you